Hey, what's up, guys? It's Average G here, and this is a crazy video I got for you today. In this video, we um, used two star Quake against the six star rank three new Wolverine Weapon X from Pandaman Pete. And this fight was absolutely crazy, dude. See, in the beginning, we got like a good like chunk of 10%, but then for the rest of the fight, he goes berserk. So each uh, each like uh, aftershock thing is only gonna do like two percent or maybe three because he plays so much more aggressively and there's no stun, so I can't get as many um like things on him because every time you evade him, he gets two more like of the like enraged charges. So for pretty much the rest of the fight, he's fully enraged, fully unblockable. And if we're one hit or to hit me as a two star, I'd pretty much be dead. And what made this fight annoying is the fact that um. What is it? Is the fact that he he's running suicides, so he has willpower. So all my concussions are keep on him or healing him a little bit. And my aftershocks, since I can't place that many, since he's playing so aggressive, we're like barely out damaging it, and it's really just a struggle. This fight was very long, and I'm very tired. I mean, I did it my first try, and I said if I don't do this on my first try, I'm just not redoing it because that's just so annoying. I just can't be ass. This fight was. So long. It felt like an eternity. The video is like seven minutes, but it felt like think about it. Seven minutes of quaking perfectly when he's playing ultra aggressive and in your face nonstop. It's pretty hard. And he's fully unblockable. I think Seaton said quake wouldn't work for it because it's unblockable, but then I remembered Seaton can't quake without pairing. So if you need like no disrespect to Seaton, I love the dude and all, but he's not good at quaking. <laughs> But, um, you can still use Quake for this fight easy. Um, Ghost, I don't know, I don't know how much about Ghost, because I think with Ghost, if you phase and he misses, he goes unstoppable for, like, a second. So you might have to play it like a mighty charge node. So I think Ghost could still work, but uh, Quake it still just destroys this fight. I, I mean, with my 5-star, this fight was dead in, like, 2 seconds, but this 2-star is very weak, as we can all tell. So... Yeah, you know, Quake, she's just a beast, honestly. There's like, no, like, you know, she shouldn't be able to do this fight, but if you play perfectly, like how I did, you can. I don't consider myself a Quake god or anything, and if you think Quake's one of those characters, you don't, is not for you because two, you have to play perfectly. Uh, I've heard Katie one say this, but this is before I had my Quake, and he said, it's not that hard to play perfectly. People overhype it. And I'm like, not really. It seems extremely hard. But. It's really just a pattern. It's just swipe back, heavy, swipe back, heavy, swipe back, heavy. And the way, the way to be a quake god, listen, is... I've never heard someone say this, even though this is what literally this all it is, is. You have to know what every character's second medium looks like. So when you when it looks... Because sometimes they'll do small combos of like three, or they'll do like medium, light, medium, or they'll do like light, 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 light. You have to know what their medium attack looks like so you can reset basically i know set media um wolverine's second medium is that like that kick air thing that he just did there so to be a quick god basically you just got to know what their mediums look like and what they're like like you got to like know what it looks like and it's just practice like i, I barely but like, when i first got my five star quick i used her like here and there i was like barely practicing her uh, the way i got better is just like a user in my like monthly uncollected just use her for as many fights as i can just practicing never stunning you never using the pair really and yeah, after like a month or two of practicing, I just became like quite god. She's not like, she's one of those characters that seems like it's super hard to master, but just the more you do it, kind of like Ghost, it's just, it comes so naturally. Like first like month with Ghost, I was so bad with her. And then I mentioned I got down and now I'm like a ghost god. Same thing with Quake. Right there, I thought medium. Oh my god, I got so lucky. I remember when I was doing that fight, I accidentally threw that and I got so scared. But luckily my concussion was up, so I had a 100% chance to evade. Um, it was perfectly timed like that, but thank god. But this fight, it is hard. It is hard as a two-star because of how much he's healing. If there was no willpower, this fight would probably be a lot faster, but he's healing a lot. And two-star Quake's damage is pretty weak, so she's, like, barely out damaging it. So, yeah. Um, this fight... Yeah, Quake, just she can do it. I mean, if I can do it with a two-star against a rank three with suicides as a six-star, I mean, it, anything's possible. I, you know, I thought I should do a gameplay with a five star just to see. And then I killed him with like one or like two fucking aftershocks. I'm like, that's way too fast. And I thought about it. I'm like, four star. That just seems like it'd be still be doing P. And I was like, three star. That seems like I might do, I might do three star. And I was like, wait, don't I have a two star quake? How sick would it be if I get a one shot with two star quake? And I was like, you know what? We're going to go for it. 
Um, she wouldn't work an alliance war or alliance quest because there's a three minute timer and this fight's seven minutes. But the five star killed him in like 20 seconds when I did it. So, I mean, it's going to be easy. Um, Quake can easily do this fight. So, I'm looking forward to who has the balls to place him against me and, a and AW. And I'm going to one shot with my Quake. But, you know. I don't think he's gonna be that good of an alliance war boss, honestly. If Quake can deal with him this easily as a two star, I mean, not, I mean, not that it's easy as a two star, but with a five star maxed out, it's just gonna be easy, straight up. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, Quake, she's just good. I mean, she's just so good. Her and Ghost can just do like anything. Like her and Ghost, wait, there's like any fights that her and Ghost can't do. Like whatever, like the few fights Quake can't do, like Iron Man, Infinity War. Uh. Ghost, I guess you can't really do Ghost too well. Um, what else fights could she not do? What's like the only ones that really come to mind? Like the few fights that she can't do, Ghost can do. So like those two together are just straight up domination. And yeah, I mean, I just love them both. As for who's the best in the game, I, I mean, people say Qu Quake, but Ghost, she's so. I don't know, dude. It just, uh, she's so much. If Ghost just. Like, Ghost, I mean, uh, Quake probably is can do more fights than Ghost overall, but Ghost just hits so much harder, so it's just so much more fun to use Ghost. And with Ghost, it's so much easier to use her. Like, Quake, I find still pretty easy, but Ghost is just so easy. There's, <laughs> like, no skill to Ghost. It's a tiny bit, but once you play her for, like, a month or two, it's just so it's just so natural. So, yeah, at the end of the fight, my heart was beaten out of its chest here, but we managed to get the kill, and I was very hyped. So... Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We can like, comment, subscribe. Um, first try did this. It was pretty sick. So yeah. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Is he dead? Wait, no. One more concussion. One more. One more. He's at he's at one percent. Then he healed up to two from willpower. But he should die in three, two, one. Dead. And yeah, one hit. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Get a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.